keep everyone motivated when all traffic sources are almost non-existent? Mark, that is an excellent question. We can look at doing all steps, all the activities to the sale, which is, let me share my screen this with you. the activities to the sale, right? Things that help customers purchase the automobile. So when we have customers in the showroom on the phone or email, then we could incentivize for a complete interview, doing all four steps in the interview, really understanding, taking the time. Now there are activities that we can fill their calendar with. That, so the selected presentation, I demonstrate are these activities being completed? Because I'll share this much with you. The customer hasn't really changed. And the first thing on their list is going to be, how much is it? What's your best price? We're not buying today. I need to think about it. Want to talk it over with my spouse. Want to run it by my dad, my brother. So one way for you Why to motivate and incentivize the team is create a bit of a, a, an incentive this time of the year to ensure that all the activities are being completed at each step of the way. The second way that, that you can ensure that all activities are being completed is that for those individuals that are coming to your desk for an approval, what activities have they completed? So you're reminding them and reinforcing that all the time that I'm not going to quote a great price on an automobile unless they have seen it, driven it, and the vehicle that they're currently driving, are they going to be trading it in? Why don't we look at the numbers both ways? Without the trade, with the trade, and with what you think you could sell it for yourself. That's a terrific way to go. Way for you to capitalize on completing the activities of sale and ensuring that with such limited traffic that we're doing everything we possibly can with every opportunity. And we just don't simply accept the fact, best price, what's your lowest price? I'm shopping around. We don't need to purchase for the next two months, three months, six months. Um, we're going to wait until the summertime. We may wait till till new model announcement comes out in the fall of this year, all of which are stalls. On it, I would suggest going to, in, in the manifesto, you're gonna be able to find under negotiation, and that is easy enough to see. Going back to the manifesto and looking at the steps of the sale, we can, now go to the closing aberration. How is closing different in today's day and age? I would suggest going to Google Drive or the Facebook group. In this particular case, let's go to the Facebook group. And under files, here are the worksheets. And download the worksheets and then role play these worksheets. Here we are. And rehearsing and rehearsing and getting familiar with them. And so what happens when we rehearse the new vehicle versus current vehicle payment, where we plug in the vehicle that they're currently driving, you can call it a trade-in, you can call it the vehicle they currently have, you can call it whatever you want, and we compare that to what a new one is going to go for, and then we go through as a sales consultant rehearsing. In fact, take this a step further. Ask the sales team to pick five shoppers that have been in very recently between now and five of your of their best shoppers people that they were certain that were going to come together between now and let's say august of 2023 and in that period of time fill these worksheets in what was the trade-in monthly vehicle payment or bi-weekly, new vehicle selling price, what the new one, the comparable going forward is, and then writing down the benefit. So you would have a trade-in of $10,000, the new vehicle selling price of $70,000, and the benefit is a brand new vehicle with a full factory warranty, completely protecting that monthly payment. Then the age, the new vehicle, well, it's BNIB, brand new in box. And the benefit is a new warranty, roadside assistance, latest and greatest technology, shiny, faster, better towing capacity, fuel efficient, latest and greatest technology, huge center stack, and of course, creating the lifestyle that they want, what it's going to do. 
kilometers. Theirs has lots, ours has none. Equipment, and the list goes on and on. We get down to here, and they've rehearsed it for themselves to the point where they can teach you how to do it. They can teach each other how to do it. What's going to happen? This is the most amazing part. This is the best part of the whole equation. I know your team is listening to me, Mark. I can see them all sitting in the room there. What's going to happen is they're going to say, geez, I got to give them a call. I got to suggest this. I've got to send them an email. And this goes back to Rebecca's question. You know, how do we keep in touch and be salesy without being salesy, without being obviously salesy? Like, hey, look, I don't know if you realized or not, but at the end of this quarter, the, the program's going to end. Or if it ends at the end of this month, you know, you've got days. Here's like, another one. Here's another great worksheet, right? The desired monthly payment. How many times are we, are we being told that the payment is too much? And I get it. Because of inflation, payments have doubled, tripled, and quadrupled in many cases. Now, all of which we need to practice and rehearse. And this time of the year is absolutely fantastic for them. It puts our thinking cap on. Just practicing these, we can look at some of the clientele that we have and say, oh my gosh, I've got somebody that this could really benefit from. That's one way to keep the motivation. We start with appointments and you never have any disappointments with appointments, making the call, sending the right email, and of course, you need that hook to reel them in. If you give them all the information, there's no reason for them to book an appointment. Yeah, so in fact, you can quote several payments. You could say, well, this is the advertised payment. This is what most of our clients pay for a vehicle. This is what you know, the average goes for at our dealership. And that's individual per salesperson. And then, of course, you can say, this is the ideal way to buy the vehicle with the greatest amount of equity built in so that you have the freedom and flexibility to change your mind at any point during the term. I didn't say anything about down payment, did I? But that's what puts them in an equity situation. Again, rehearsing and practicing those talk tracks. And, and you know, the easy and best way to do is book a one-on-one -on -one with me. I'm here. You guys aren't alone. Anyhow, with, with the sales incentives, no appointments, with the, no disappointments, with appointments for the appointments, Get a, a fish bowl, and you you probably already know this, so this is one of my favorites because I did it a lot in my dealership, and guys would come out with bleeding hands, fill that fish bowl with marbles, and they reach into the fish bowl with it for a scoop of marbles, and the marbles represent a dollar, two dollars, five dollars, however much you want to do, and they they pull those out. Then you can have another fish bowl, or you could have the balloons on the wall with dollar bills inside and a dart board. And for every sale that they make, they get a dart to throw at the board. Other fun ways to, to and I have a, an absolutely dynamite team building activity where the first person on the board to sell an automobile during this team building exercise that brings the whole sales team together, that individual capitalizes like a multi-level marketing plan on everybody else's sale. And now what we have is the team is motivating each other all by themselves because when they get a, a customer and they just can't put it together, they may turn to Wes, they may turn to Peter, they may turn to Alex and say, hey, look, this guy is, is this guy, this gal, this person is, is this close and I just can't seem to get them over. And they want to get on the board because the sooner they get on the board, like MLM, like multi-level marketing, the more that they'll capitalize on people coming in. I can share all those details with you. Anyhow, that's part of the management program.